Welcome to episode 14 of Poker Class. This week, cities began in the US, and we've seen many decks causing trouble for the ever-powerful SP. Gyarados has been creating quite a storm at cities, and is taking down almost every deck it's paired up against. However, this week, I'm going to be talking about another deck which is up there for top contender at cities. We've had this deck for a while already, since Stormfront. With Triumphant, this deck has been given a whole new card to boost its power. You've probably guessed it by now, but we're going to be talking about Machamp. Most of you may know that Machamp is usually played to beat every SP deck out there, but when paired against other Stage 2 decks, it has a hard time keeping up. After the release of Triumphant, this weakness has been accounted for, and comes in the form of Machamp Prime. The Machamp from Stormfront is used to one-hit KO basic Pokemon, and helps in getting the Donk in various situations. The main attack used by this Machamp is Takeout. For a single fighting energy, this Pokemon can automatically knock out any basic Pokemon it attacks. This is incredible considering that all starters will be basic, and the entire SP build is centred around pretty much every Pokemon being basic, almost making it an auto win. This is also good against decks such as Regigigas, as they have times 2 fighting weakness, but also runs off mainly basic Pokemon. Machamp's other attacks aren't used as much, but its second attack, Hurricane Punch, can give a solid amount of damage if coin flips go your way, for just a double colourless. Machamp's weakness is also pretty good. Having a weakness to Psychic isn't great in the format with Gengar roaming around, but having plus 30 weakness rather than times 2 makes it a little more manageable. Having 130 HP is also solid for a stage 2 Pokemon. So the Storm from the champ is used for taking out basic Pokemon, and it can get the Donk if you get the right hand. But if you aren't playing against SP or Regigigas, then you're going to run into a bit of trouble. This is where the Prime comes in. Machamp Prime was introduced to us in the newest set, Triumphant. Machamp Prime has brought new light to this deck, as it can hit for some high damage to decks that aren't SP, or fighting weak. Machamp's Poker Power, Fighting Tag, can only be used when Machamp is on the bench, but it allows you to switch Machamp with your active Pokemon, and then move all fighting energy from that Pokemon to your now active Machamp. This can get Machamp ready to attack in a single turn if you've been taken out with your Machamp SF and stocking up on energy. Once you've executed Fighting Tag, you should be ready to attack. Its first attack, Crushing Punch, does 60 damage for fighting in a double colourless. Not only does it KO most basics, but you can discard a special energy card attached to the Pokemon you attack. This could be great for getting rid of special metals from Dialga G level X and Steelix, or it can remove double colours from Garchomp C level X and discard it. The second attack, Champ Buster, does 100 damage plus 10 more for each Pokemon with damage counters on it on your bench. This could get you up to 150 damage for 2 fighting energy and a double colourless. This attack could be great straight after you use Fighting Tag to switch Machamp straight into your active spot. A final great thing about Machamp Prime is that it has a very nice HP of 150. Even with a times 2 weakness to Psychic, you'll need to do a base damage of at least 80 with a Psychic Pokemon to one hit KO it. Even with Uxie level X, you'll need to drop 3 extra damage counters to KO it in one attack. This leaves Machamp active for at least 2 turns, being able to do at least 100 damage per turn if you've set it up properly. These pair make for a great powerhouse, one for donking with and taking out basics as soon as they hit the field, and the Prime is used for high damage and switching out damage Machamps for a fresh, hard hitter. These are the two main cards that will make the bulk of your deck. Here's some cards that you can put in to help with your build. First up is Broken Time Space. This card allows you to evolve Pokemon that you play down in the same turn, and I'd suggest these as a staple in any Machamp build. This allows you to search for the Donk in the early stages of the game, but can also get some great recovery, allowing you to put down a Machamp in one turn. Next, you're going to need to put in Rare Candy. This card allows you to skip the Stage 1 phase of evolving, and evolve a basic straight into a Stage 2. This card is similar to Broken Time Space, in the way that it helps Machamp to be as quick as it can. Using Rare Candy can help you to get the early Donk, and it just speeds up the deck altogether. Being able to skip a turn of evolving allows you to attack basics with Machamp Stormfront fast. Now Machamp focuses on speed, and there are many cards that you can use to help with this, as well as the two just mentioned. Unknown R is a great card for drawing extra cards during your turn. Its poker power, Retire, allows you to discard Unknown R if it's on your bench, and then draw a card. This is great for thinning your deck, and may help you to draw an extra card you need for the turn. However, with SP still in the format, watch out for Power Spray, as your unknown could be left sitting on the bench with just 60 HP. 
Another great draw card for this deck is Pugger Draw Plus. This card, when played by itself, allows you to draw an extra card from your deck. The better part of this card is that you can play two of these at the same time. If you do this, you can search your deck for any two cards you like and place them into your hand, similar to the new Twins card. This can be great for grabbing vital energy, trainers or Pokemon that you need to complete the best possible move in your turn. Not only this, but you can still play your supporter for the turn as poker drawers of trainers. After this, you also have Uxie that is needed in most decks. In Machamp, getting an Uxie to use setup for as many cards as possible is a vital part of the speed of the deck. When you're playing against SP, watch out for Power Spray as this could tip the game in their favour if you desperately need to pull off the power. Pokemon that you could pair with Machamp include Donphan, Umbreon and even Regice. Donphan runs off the same speed engine as Machamp as well as being able to use fighting energy as well. Donphan is also a fast and hard hitter at 60 for 1 energy. This can also provide donks and gives you a strong backup attacker to work with. Umbreon would mainly be there if you ran into Gengar. Umbreon can lock Gengar from attacking as its first attack, Moonlight Fang, prevents damage done to Umbreon from Pokemon with Poker Powers and Poker Bodies. Umbreon also hits for Gengar's weakness, so it could be an option if Vargar is popular in your area. Red Dice would be used more as a tech rather than a second attacker and could be useful in Spiritomb locks. This card allows you to switch your opponent's active with one from their bench in exchange for the discard of two cards from your hand. This is very handy against Trainer Lock and can free you for at least one crucial turn to get your deck rolling when you move an active Spiritomb. Other cards you'll definitely need are Bebe's Search, Pokemon Collector, Palmer's Contribution and Professor Oak's new theory. These cards help towards grabbing the Pokemon you need, refreshing your hand and recovering KO'd Pokemon. This deck is meant to hit hard and fast, looking for the Donk in the early stages of the game. With the new Machamp Prime, the Machamp builds are strengthened in the way that they can stand up to other decks that aren't SP. With a built-in switch in the form of Fighting Tag, it can easily be powered up and be hitting for over 100 damage in a single turn. Here's a skeleton list for you to start making your own build from. Having two of each Machamp allows you to keep a consistent start along with being able to have the option of having two Primes to search out and attack with. Running more than one of each also reduces the chance of them being prized. Four Unknown R's and four Poker Draw Plus allows you to get the maximum amount of draw power you can when paired with Uxie's setup power. You may also want to use Super Scoop Ups to reuse Uxies or to pick up Machamps just to place them right back down on the field again using either Broken Time Space or Rare Candy. You could also include Rescue Energy in this deck as a way to keep Machamp alive without having to worry about grabbing a Palmer's and then having to search your deck. This allows for much quicker recovery and keeps you in the game even if your active gets KO'd. If you can find the room, Seeker could also be an option for increasing the chance of being able to donk as well as being able to reuse Uxies again. A final consideration would be Pokemon Reversal. If you flip heads, you can switch your opponent's active Pokemon for another of your choice. This is great for setting up an easy KO with Takeout or even Crushing Punch. Overall, this deck is becoming a top contender in competitive play. With Machamp top cutting in many of the US cities at the moment, you may want to think twice about how to counter this speedy deck. So what do you think of Machamp now that we have the new Prime? Thanks for watching Poker Class and check back next week for another episode. If you're looking for more information about competitive Pokemon play, check out these websites that also support Poker Class.